guys, it's MMA Analyst here to give you my betting picks for UFC on Fox 3, Diaz vs. Miller. Let's get right down to it. Nate Diaz vs. Jim Miller. Uh, this is going to be a platinum pick for Jim Miller. Uh, pretty simple, I think. Uh, the Diaz brothers, Nate Diaz especially, or I guess equally. Um, when it comes to fighting wrestlers, they're in trouble. They don't have the takedown defense. It seems like they haven't really worked on that aspect of their game, potentially because they're too prideful and they have those, uh, you know, great jujitsu backgrounds. So they're more than uh, happy to um, just fight off their back. Um, I think Jim Miller in this situation is going to be stronger. He'll get the takedowns after a little bit of striking. Uh, if he stays on the feet, he's going to be in trouble. But um, I think he gets the fight to the ground. Um, pressure, 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 and doesn't get submitted by Diaz. And I think he wins three rounds in a row with that kind of a performance. Just, you know, a few strikes, clinch up, take down, and then some scrambles. Diaz might get back to his feet a couple times, but it's not like Miller's going to get tired. Um, sounds like a plat, sounds like a diamond pick to me, but um, because Diaz is so good with the striking and because his jiu-jitsu is so uh, on point, there is a possibility, obviously, that uh, either standing up or off his back, he can finish Jim Miller. However, Jim Miller with his black belt in jiu-jitsu, solid uh, defense uh, in jiu-jitsu, I don't really see that happening. Um, I'm going to go again. Platinum pick for Jim Miller over Nate Diaz. And uh, with the odds being minus 235, that's I think that's great odds for um, for Jim Miller. Because I, I think that he's probably, uh, I would put him at a 3-1 to one favorite myself, but there you go. Josh Koscheck versus Johnny Hendricks. This is going to be a gold pick for Johnny Hendricks. I do believe he will be hungrier. I do believe he'll be more aggressive because of that. Um, Josh Koscheck, if he tries to stand and catch Johnny Hendricks with uh, you know his overhand punch, uh, probably um, going to end up you know catching something up the middle. If Josh Koscheck comes out here and is more aggressive than Johnny Hendricks, and they're fighting for, for takedowns and all that good stuff, um, Koscheck absolutely could win this fight. And uh, this is probably the only time in history where Josh Koscheck will be the underdog with Johnny Hendricks coming off of, um, or with him not being the favorite. Um, Johnny Hendricks coming off of uh, a crazy knockout of jo John Fitch, ranked number two in the world, and Josh Koscheck coming off of a very controversial win over uh, Mike Pierce. Um, so yeah, also with Josh Koscheck leaving AKA, I don't know who he's training with, um, but I know it's not going to be as solid a crew as training with John Fitch and the other guys at uh, American Kickboxing Academy. Again, it is going to be a gold pick for Johnny Hendricks' uh, decision. Um, fight of the night, by the way, could very well be Jim Miller versus Diaz. It all depends on how much of a fight Nate Diaz can make it. All right. Alan Belcher, Husumer Polaris. Um, this is going to be a gold pick for Husmo Polaris. Um, the problem with a guy like Polaris is you know exactly what he's going to do. And he's probably going to pull it off. But if he doesn't do that one thing, then he's not going to win. So, um, you know, is he going to defeat Alan Belcher three rounds uh, decision? Maybe he could if he was the kind of guy that would get a takedown and be content and stay on the top, but no, he's not, obviously. He'll get a takedown and immediately dive for a leg or dive for submissions, always looking to finish. And uh, if that doesn't work against Alan Belcher, Alan Belcher will go back to the feet and eventually, uh, you know, Alan will be able to stuff a takedown or do something damaging to Paul Harris on the feet. But I have Paul Harris with, uh, you know, just a short, stocky, ridiculous strength and wrestling, getting the fight to the ground any way possible, um, charging in against Alan Belcher, um, and uh, taking advantage of uh, Alan Belcher. Now, Belcher is the better striker, um, well-rounded fighter. Uh, it's not like he's going out there w with no idea of what to do. He does. But uh, everybody knows what Paul Harris tries to do to them. And Polaris is still able to pull it off against almost everybody. So it is going to be, again, a gold pick for Husumer Polaris. 
Pat Berry, LeVar Johnson. Simply, this is easy for me. I do not bet. Two big, powerful guys. Um, both of them inconsistent. Both of them um, can pull off a win against whoever, some, some of the best, possibly. And both of them could lose to some of the worst. Um, so, yeah. I did pick LeVar Johnson in my regular picks. I do believe he was, he's going to win. But to put money on LeVar Johnson, uh, I do not advise that. So I do not bet. Tony Ferguson, Michael Johnson. I'm very surprised at the odds here. In my opinion, Tony Ferguson um, should be a bigger favorite again. It's minus 270. This is going to be a diamond pick for Tony Ferguson. I am a believer. I've seen what he's been able to do in his last couple fights. Um, Eve Edwards, that was very impressive, impressive what he did. Aaron Riley, very impressive what he did. Um, Ramsey and a gem, okay, cool, it's all good. But anyways, the point is, uh, I believe in his wrestling and his striking at this point. Michael Johnson, uh, he showed a lot of improvement against Shane Roller, um, but he is still mainly a wrestler. Um, and I think that's what he's going to try and do. And I think that um, Tony Ferguson is going to be able to shut him down totally. And I'm going again with uh, Tony Ferguson, diamond pick. All right, next fight. The bantamweight uh, winner of Ultimate Fighter 14, John Dodson against Tim Elliott. Tim Elliott at one point ranked, uh, I think right now he might even still be ranked top 10 um, as a, in the flyweight division. John Dodson has been uh, at bantamweight since the Ultimate Fighter. I think he is now returning to flyweight. I think that's going to help him out. Um, he's very fast, solid hands, great wrestling. All of those things together, I think he'll be able to defeat uh, Tim Elliott. Um, this would be a pretty big upset, in my opinion, if uh, Tim Elliott were to pull this off. It is going to be a diamond pick for John Dodson. Uh, I think he's going to finish um, Tim Elliott. Let's see. LeVar Johnson, by the way, uh, whoever wins that fight will get probably a knockout of the night. Um, John Dodson, though, he probably will get a pretty flashy little knockout. Um, you know, in and out, throw a million punches. Uh, Tim Elliott sleeping. First or second round. Um, diamond pick for John Dodson. John Hathaway, Pascal Kroos. Um, platinum pick for John Hathaway. Kroos has great jujitsu, um, but he's got to get the fight to the ground. His wrestling is, um, you know, it's not like an American uh, Division One wrestler type of a thing. He's uh, he's got like solid jujitsu. Um, you know, it's, it's I mean it's only a blue belt, but um, you know, seven wins by submission. Yeah, again, he hasn't submitted the greatest of fighters, um, but anyways, he knows what he's doing on the ground. Is my point. Um, but John Hathaway knows how to keep the fight from going to the ground. And if he does want to get it to the ground himself, I don't see Kraus getting a submission over John Hathaway off of his back. Um, so it's going to be a platinum pick for John Hathaway. I think on the feet, um, he's going to have the advantage. I think if he wants to keep on the, the fight on the feet, then he will. And if he wants to take the fight to the ground, then he will. Uh, Pascal Kraus does train uh, at our Rufu, uh, Rufu Sport. So, I mean, they do have a solid camp with uh, both striking and wrestling. Um, probably at the end of the day, Hathaway is going to want to get the fight to the ground and uh, just kind of dominate uh, on the mat. I've got John Hathaway at the end of the day winning a decision, and it is a platinum pick. John Lineker versus uh, Louis uh, Godneau. Um, this is a do not bet. I did pick Lineker in my regular picks, um, but putting money on these guys, no. All right, Danny Castillo versus uh, John Cholish. This is going to be a gold pick for Danny Castillo. Uh, Danny's coming off of a, a solid win over Anthony Njokwani, uh, a nice win before that over Shamar Bailey. Uh, his most recent loss was to Jacob Volkman. Um, you know who's able to out wrestle him. I don't see. Um, I don't see Cholish winning this fight. Um, I mean, he he clearly could. He, he he's somewhat a well rounded uh, fighter, um, but um, you know he he's got his win over Mitch Clark. Mitch Clark is you know at the very bottom of the at the very bottom of the division. Probably not even included to be honest. Um, 
I just see at the end of the day, Danny Castillo being the well-rounded, um, better fighter altogether. Trains with Team Alpha Male. You know, always around some of the best fighters in the division. Solid wrestling. All of that good stuff. I've got Danny Castillo uh, winning by decision. It's going to be a gold pick over John Cholish. Dennis Bermudez, uh, Pablo Garza. Um, this is a silver pick for Dennis Bermudez. Um, he had a tough situation there against Diego Brandao. But, um, you know, uh, I think in this fight here, he should be able to get the win. Um, he's got pretty good hands, really good jujitsu. And uh, against Pablo Garza, Pablo Garza's got okay stand up. Um, very tall, very lanky. That's his big thing. Six foot one um, in the featherweight division, which is crazy. Um, but I do think that uh, Pablo Garza will not knock out Dennis Bermudez. I think Bermudez will be able to, um, you know, get the fight to the ground. He's a Division One uh, NCAA wrestler, um, and again, his hands look pretty good in uh, in, in a couple of fights, including against Brandao. But then he dropped Brandao a few times, but then Brandao just came out with an amazing comeback in the first round. Um, I think. Um, Though uh, Bermudez will be able to defeat Pablo Garza. And uh, again, it is a silver pick for Dennis uh, Bermudez. Um, Nick Dennis, Nick Denny over Roland DeLorme. Um, that's a platinum pick for Nick Denny. I think he will just be better all around. Um, he's just a solid up and coming fighter. Um, you know, so a good win over Joseph Sandoval. Crazy win. Very, very fast. And I think he will continue on his winning streak. Uh, you know, let's see here. Um, you know, he's got a ten wins by knockout, one win by submission. Um, trains in Mont trains out in Montreal there. Solid, solid, solid fighter. And uh, against Roland Delorme, I don't think he should have a problem. It's going to be a platinum pick for Nick Denny. And uh, lastly, it's going to be another do not bet. Oh, Lord, I remember the last time I think I put out a diamond pick. It's one of my worst moments ever as the MMA analyst. Good Lord, if I could erase this. Anyways, Carlos Vomola, um, Mike Masenzio. Um, I did pick Carlos Vomola to be able to get the takedowns against Masenzio and um, basically win a decision or maybe even finish him for, with strikes from the top. But for betting... Uh, this is a very tough fight to uh, put money on. So it is going to be a do not bet. So there you go. Those are my picks for UFC on Fox. Uh, if you have any questions regarding other um, organizations where I do not actually make the videos, but you would like my information, my input on whether it be anything really, to be anything that they you can bet on, uh, let me know. And um, most likely I've looked into it and... and have a have a decent grasp if not a more than a decent grasp on on most of the fights so let me know and uh, i can you know going back and forth uh, in email and uh, just do a little write-up for the fights that you're interested in um and yeah bet responsibly mma it's important peace